Hi, my name is Lindsay and I'm a student with the Child and Youth Mental Health Team with Simcoe Muskoka Family Connections. And I'm here today because we're going to make some Play-Doh, um, which is one of my all-time favorite activities that I used to do when I was young. And it's really, really easy and really, really quick. Um, so something that you can do and play with at home. So how we're going to start is start with washing our hands. Um, so I'm going to start with that. So you can put this on pause or you can listen to me wash my hands. Um, and then I'm going to come back and we'll get started. So the second thing that we need to do is just take a really damp cloth and wipe the area that we will be working on. And that's because once we're done making the Play-Doh, we're going to, um, we can make some shapes and stuff out of it, so we kind of want a clean workspace for it. So, let's get started. So the first thing that you need is some sort of mixing bowl, because we'll be mix mixing our Play-Doh in this bowl. We're going to start with one cup of flour, so just regular all-purpose flour that you got out of your um, cupboards. Then half a cup of salt, so that's just regular table salt, hopefully that you've got that around the house. And half a cup of water. So what you're going to do with the water is you're going to slowly add it in. I like using my hands to mix things because I find that it just gets in better. So slowly adding. The really nice thing about making Play-Doh with your hands is getting to feel the textures and just seeing the change as it happens. Ugh, it kind of feels gross and slimy. Now, as you can see, it's still quite sticky. So you want to make sure that you get everything mixed in. So it's looking pretty good. So if you find that it's really, really slimy, then what you can do is add some more flour. If you're finding it very dry and chunky, then you can add some more water. Just be careful because you really want to get it well mixed before you start adding more ingredients. But I can still see that there's quite a bit of flour and salt at the bottom. So let's see if I can get that mixed in. I think it's pretty good. So this is kind of what it looks like. So it's got that textury Play-Doh where I can still build stuff. It's not crumbling apart, but it's not ooey gooey like the slime. So once you've got that, You can either leave it this whitish color or you can dye it. So I want to dye mine different colors. So what you do is separate it. And I'm going to make three different colors. So I've got three balls now. And the best thing to do is make little thumbprints into it. So once you've got these little thumbprints, that's a good time to add your color. So, I have two different kinds of coloring here. I have the regular liquid coloring, and I also have gel coloring. So, you can use whatever works for you or whatever you have at home. So, with the gel coloring, you need to use a toothpick. So one of my balls here are going to be purple. So 
So with the purple gel, I'm just going to do a little mix and dip it in. With my other two, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do orange, which do we know what orange, which colors you need to mix for orange? Red and yellow. So I'm just going to take a drop. I've got four in there. And I'm going to do another, I'll say three. So when you're using the liquid ones, it takes about five to ten drops. So let's test this one before I do the others. It can get a little messy as the color starts to burst out. So if you're doing the multiple colors, you probably need to wash your hands in between. So the neat thing with Play-Doh is sometimes I know when I get stressed out, having things in my hands can sometimes be really relaxing. It gives me a break. I don't have to think about what's stressing me out and what's worrying me. I can really just focus on the texture of the Play-Doh, which is kind of grainy. It's not cold anymore because I've been playing with it. So it's now warm. It doesn't smell very much and I'm guessing that it doesn't taste very good. Safe to taste, not that I encourage it, um, because it's just flour, water, and salt. So it's not going to taste very good, but if you're feeling that you want to, you could, but I wouldn't recommend it. So my orange didn't turn out, but it's okay because it's turned out to be some sort of red color. Now I want it a little bit more colorful, so I think I'm going to add some to it. So two more, three more yellow drops. I'm going to just add one more red. So as you're mixing, again, it's just a nice opportunity to take a break and kind of feel in your hands the texture, the colors, um, and see how it changes. Just something fun to look at. So as you make your Play-Dohs, the other thing that you can do is if you really want to keep it, you can actually bake it. So, I'm just going to quickly wash my hands because now I have red dye all over them. I'm going to try mixing my purple one. Now I'm not 100% sure how these gel colors are going to turn out. They don't look like they're going to be as much fun as the liquid colors. So it seems to be some sort of spotted purple which is okay too. So once you have your colors, I'm just going to stick with these two for now. If you really want, you can also create things and then cook them and keep them. So, you can use a can if you don't have a rolling pin at home, and kind of roll shapes out. Oh, now I can really see the colors. You can roll some shapes out, and maybe use some cookie cutters that you might have at home to make some things. So, once you have your shapes, you can bake them, and they can come out hard. What I'll do is I'll leave the instructions at the bottom of this video in case you want to bake, bake any of your creations. So that's the simple way to make some Play-Doh at home. This should last about four weeks if you seal it in an airtight container. So you just leave it in the fridge, whether you keep your colors together or separate. And there you have. You have some Play-Doh that you can play with. Um, and if it gets destroyed, it gets destroyed. And if you want to keep it for couple weeks you can just in an airtight container and in your fridge again take the opportunity to really have fun with it um, and take a break from what's going on so thanks and I look forward to seeing you again